What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jim Like you said, we're back from the video. So today I'm gonna show you how to do the other one. This is your fuel filter diesel and water separator. So when you go to get your fuel, sometimes in their system has water in it. This filter here cuts the water back from the water that's going into your motor because it needs fuel to burn to that way your truck can move. When this here gets full, right about here, you need to change it, okay? This one here, you do pretty quite often, okay? Once it's full from here all the way to the top, you gotta change it or else you're gonna suffocate it and the water will start going to your system because this filter can only filter so much. Usually when you go do your oil change, you tell them to do this, okay? And they do it. But as, as in a month go by, it could be anywhere. You go, you go to a Flying J, Loves, uh, uh, Pilot, Petro, TA. Sometimes you go to these uh, truck stops and you get fuel. This will get filled up due to water. If there's no water in this filter system, this fil filter here will be down below. It won't go up that high. This will go up high and higher and higher and higher and higher as you drive and work. Okay. So just give you an idea. Okay. How that is. Okay. So you see clearly. See how high it is. I only got about a, about two inches left. But you know when you're working, you're so busy, and you go home, you're tired, you go home, you just wanna go home, eat, shower, go to sleep, and work the next day. You don't have time to do this. So now I'm off. You know, since I'm off this weekend, I'll go ahead and do it. We got two two inches left. So once it hit above that filter line right here, you gotta change it out. Okay? I'm gonna show you how to do that. Catch you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're back. Okay, so what you need for this here to do this kind of job. You can go to your nearest fight liner and buy these filters here. They have many different kinds. They have a uh, lube filter. That's the one I have right now. I got that one to do my oil change. You got one right here from Fleet Guard. That's part of the OEM from Fireliner. They do have one. It's called Detroit. It costs like four or five dollars more for a Detroit filter one, but exact same thing, but it's from Detroit. Um, this is good too, you know. So um, if you ever go buy a Fireliner, buy two of these. Cause you never know. Cause you change it pretty often. Once it gets high level, you have to change it. You have to. Okay. So I got two of these. You're gonna need a tool, okay? Apparently, I lost mine. I don't know why I did with mine. I can't find it now. Um, I threw it in the house in the storage shed with, with my other tools, where, where I use the tools to work on my cars. You know, my other car, the Subaru, and the SCI, and the 370Z. I can't find it. This big tool right here, okay? I can't find it. Hopefully, I find it. So I end up buying another one. This costs $81. This is not cheap for a strip from Fireliner, okay? But you're gonna need this tool here to do it, okay? You're gonna need a pitcher. You can get this from any dollar store, Dollar Tree, uh, Family Dollar. You can go at Seller Brothers. They sell this for like a dollar or two. You can need one of these. And maybe a funnel if you need one, okay? Let's get to it. All right, guys, in order to get this thing started, you gotta dump all the liquid in there, okay? That's the first step. Because once you dump all the liquid here, it's easier to remove it. Because if, right if, you, if, you, if you remove it right now, this bracket here, this ring bracket right here, all this diesel here, all the water and diesel here will overflow and be all over your floor, okay? So if you notice, there is a knob right here. You see this knob? You see a hose here, okay? This is what you need your pitcher for. So, you get your pitcher, okay? You put it down below, as in so. It's better to do it two hands, but I'm on with the camera. Let me show you if I anger angle better there we go and all you do is hold this up turn this nozzle, nozzle here it's gonna dump all that out see that once it's completely empty then you can change it out and what you do is you pour this back into it okay thing let me go ahead and finish dumping all this catch you guys in a bit hey guys if you're dumping from this nozzle here i forgot to mention you do have to unscrew this cap right here unscrew it that way you have some air in it okay 
what the hell um get some air into it because if you open it up and it gets filled up like this you're gonna need an extra container to put it into so i'm just gonna pour it into that for right now so i'm gonna pour it back in there and then continue doing it again until it's empty so let it run all right guys i just want to remind you it's going to keep on going okay that's what we keep on going it will keep squirting diesel out okay you want to do it to where there's no more in there but if you leave the nozzle open, it will keep spinning out diesel. It's grabbing the fuel from the fuel tank. You don't want to do that. Do it enough till you drain all this out, then shut it off. Okay? Don't don't just just leave it like that and let it keep draining, draining, draining. You're gonna dump all your fuel out. So let me go ahead and do the next step. Catch you guys in a bit. The next step. Hey. The next step is to remove this piece here. So I'm gonna grab my new brand tool with a tool that I lost. Here we go. Okay. Lefty loosey, righty, uh, righty tighty. And so, just like that. Okay. This tool cost eighty-one dollars. I know I had it. I don't know where I put it, so I didn't buy a new one. That sucks, but it is what it is. That's it. See, pretty simple. Now, move this. Just like that. And he just throws it in the trash. Okay. Next step. Let me get a piece of paper down real quick. So as you can see, the filter is very important. You gotta do it when it gets full. But if you look at it, let me show you. Look at what's in there. See from debris, from the from the from the fuel stops and all that, for truck stops and all that. See all that? All that black dots and all that. That's debris. You see that? Cause these fuel tanks, man. When you go to the truck stop to get your fuel, man, you catch all kind of crazy stuff. So next, you have your new filter. Oh, I dropped an O-ring. Let's get this bad boy in. Whoop, oh, it's okay. Push it down. And so, they give you two O-rings, one big and one small. I'll show you which one you gotta change. Right here, and the inside lip. Okay, see this right here? It's an O ring in there. And then right here, okay. Hold on a second. All right, the O ring right here, you put it on the outside right here. Okay. 
just like that. It keeps it sealed. Just like that. Okay. But well, some people do it the other way too. You can throw it right here, or you can throw it on top of there and then do it. But sometimes it don't hold here, so throw it over here. Sometimes there's already no one to stay, man. Like that, see it? Like that. Door door. So. Oh, there's an O-ring in there. It fell. Oh no, there's a the spring, sorry. Okay. One step. Clean. Next o ring will be on your cat. Right here. Okay, see the o ring here? Change it out. Put a new one on. It's that simple. That's it. Now this part here is where you redump your fluid in. Okay. Before you do that, you gotta use this tiny tool. Not too tight. It's plastic. Just enough. Right there is good. I'm gonna put this in my truck so I don't lose it. That's what's expensive. Eighty-one dollars for that tool, man. You believe that? Next up, grab your funnel. Like that. It's gonna be a tight fit, though, but I'll make it work. What the hell is going on out there today, man? Fire hydrogen, fire department, all that. Okay, I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna do it. And just go easy, slow, easy. And it'll fill all the way up. One second. All right, here we go. I'm gonna spill a little bit. Busy right now. Easy as it goes. As my funnel doesn't fully seal it, so I gotta put it slow. It's going in. Still slow. Take your time. She's filling up. It'll go down once I start it. Don't worry about it too much. See, it'll go down slowly. Here is in. Once you hear that click, with that you're good. Now, I got a little bit diesel everywhere. It's okay. Now I'm gonna start it.
going, it's gonna go down. When you go to work, you start drying, it's gonna go down, 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 down. We're good. It's gonna burn all that fuel that's in there. So I got a little bit left, I'm just gonna dump it. All right guys, that's all I had to do. It's pretty easy, okay? I just wanna start, to start it to make sure it was good. And yeah, we're good. Everything's good. Everything's working the way it's supposed to be. That's how you change your fuel and water separator filter. Pretty easy, not that hard to do. Okay, like again, when it gets full to the top, you change it. You see how it gets full to the top like that? You gotta change it, right? But I already changed it. So as you drive, you go to work, it's gonna start burning the fuel that was contained in here. It's gonna go back all the way down. Takes time, okay? Takes time. But yeah, pretty simple, easy, not hard to do, okay? All right, guys, please commit those like. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. I'll try to keep this content going. Thank you for your love and support. Without you guys, I will not continue making these kind of type of videos. Also, check out my other YouTube channel. Again, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Till next time. Peace.